How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel, Make Money Trucking. I want to address some uh, comments, some questions I've been getting lately just about the whole trucking situation, becoming an owner operator. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. Uh, I'm currently in my truck uh, loading, just thought I'd make a quick video for you. So a lot of people ask, why, on, why would you finance a truck versus just working longer and saving up the money and then buying it outright and the the simple reason is is if you can use the bank use them because they're a good asset to take advantage of so if you're looking to buy a forty thousand dollar truck and you want to go into trucking if you save up forty thousand dollars and then you buy the truck yes you don't have a note on the truck or a payment and you don't owe the bank anything but then you're at zero, you don't have any other money. This is just an example. So therefore, you would need to save about $60,000 so you'd have you know, an extra $20,000 set aside for expenses, downtime, waiting on uh, customers to get paid and all that good stuff. So why you finance the truck is you're leveraging the bank. So if you're going to buy a $40,000 truck, um, and I'm not saying that's the right price. I'm just giving you an example. You know, you can usually go to a local bank or a finance place and put down $10,000 and finance $30,000. So you can put down 25% and then take out a loan for the rest of 75%. Now, given how old the truck is or how well the bank knows you or how comfortable they are with you and the loan, they may go out four years to five years on something like that. So now you've got a payment that is probably, I don't know, roughly $1,000 a month. Let's just say for quick, easy math. And then you pay that for three years or four years. Well, what that does is now you have $30,000 left over. So if you want to save the money for the truck, that's great. But then if you put all your money in the truck, then you're not gonna have any money left over for expenses, downtime, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why I'm a big advocate of going to the bank and at least trying to get it financed because then that leaves you with a lot more cash in hand. Now, I'd never advise anybody to say, hey, if you're gonna buy a $40,000 truck, just save up 10 grand and go in there with 10 grand. That would obviously be a recipe for disaster because then now you've got a truck payment, you got no extra cash. But if you're going to save up the money for a truck, you know, you're better off financing if you can because then you got all that money left over. Now, another scenario would be if you want to buy that $40,000 truck, maybe save up 30 grand, put $10,000 down on the truck, and now you have $20,000, which that's bare minimum what you need to start out as an owner operator with a good decent reputable company because trust me uh, when you're not making money the the money goes out a lot faster than you think and you know everything costs money so you all a lot of times you find yourself you know just expensing a lot of things you didn't really you know think about like I just got one of my trucks going and putting another truck on and you know it was easily you know seven thousand dollars to get it registered, to get tires on it, to get DOT annual done, and just get a lot of other little things that we needed to address. So, you know, if you use that $20,000 example, now you're down to $13,000. And let's say you probably get that done, what I did for about $5,000. So say, now you got $15,000 left to get going. As you gotta remember, when you buy the truck, you still, um, you might get a temp tag, but you might have to do stuff to the truck, you know, right away. So that's why I highly encourage people to use the bank. Um, and I think a lot of people are getting confused. I'm not telling anybody to go and just save up the amount of money that they need to finance a truck. If you're gonna finance a truck, you still need an additional $20,000 set aside. 20 to 30 thousand dollars I think is probably a better place to be so that forty thousand dollar truck you give the bank ten thousand dollars you get a payment of it on it that's a thousand dollars a month 
and then you have thirty thousand dollars to hit the road with and be prepared for whatever happens next but uh if you want to buy that forty thousand dollar truck and be in that same position you want to pay for cash that's fine but now you need sixty or seventy thousand dollars because once you buy the truck you're still gonna need twenty to thirty grand for operating costs as you go along because remember the payment's only a thousand dollars a month you know you don't need twenty thousand dollars for the payment you need a thousand dollars so the twenty thousand to thirty thousand dollars is for breakdowns waiting on pay sometimes you gotta wait three weeks to a month sometimes 45 days to get paid there's some customers that i've ran for in the past that take 30 to 45 days to pay so you're literally working for a month and a half and not making any money and mind you you know you have a flat tire or your starter or alternator goes out you got to pay for that so that's that 20 to 60,000 or I'm sorry 20 to 30,000 dollars comes into play so hopefully that clears that up um, and even if uh, you're gonna buy that 40,000 dollars truck even if you got to put half down because I've seen some finance companies they get pretty strict nowadays I know the interest rate sucks it sucks for everybody and that that does that 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 is a that is a very difficult difficult thing to to swallow right now is the the you know it's like eight nine percent to get a truck financed with decent credit it used to be like five percent six percent i mean i've gotten loans for four percent before on trucks like this truck i'm seeing right now when i finance it, i got it at i think 4.25 percent um on a commercial loan you know so and it was about let's see i got it for five years I the only finance I financed about thirty one thousand dollars, so I don't remember what the exact payment was, but it wasn't very much. So now that same um, that same loan nowadays, because the interest rates would be probably you know at least a few hundred dollars more. So let's say it was seven hundred dollars, it would at least be a thousand dollars now, if not a little bit. No, yeah, it'd be, it'd be a few hundred dollars more. So. I know I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot, but I kind of just want to clear that up. Um, it's fine to pay cash, but just remember if you're paying cash, you still need an additional $20,000, $30,000 to have as operating cost. You know, uh, buying the truck outright does not solve all your problems. I know a lot of people want to think that because they think that uh, a truck is going to cost you money and maintenance. It's gonna have operating costs, no matter if you have a loan on it or not. So it's uh, to me, it's a lot better to, you know, get it financed. Money in the bank or money in hand is way more valuable than money in a truck as an asset. Um, you know, it's not real estate. Trucks, you know, devalue. Trucks are expensive right now because you know the economy, the situation, the supply chain stuff. But uh, in the future, you know, trucks will not be assets to invest in, other than they make you money, but they won't like hold value like they are right now because there's not a lot of them available. So yeah, um, cash is king. Uh, whether it's in your bank, I know there's debates about keeping your money in bank and all that stuff, or just keeping your money cash, liquid, so you can pay for stuff when the truck breaks. Um, you know, you don't want to spread yourself too thin and then go and buy a truck cash and now you got $5,000 left because you, oh yeah, good for me and you feel so great because you bought a truck cash. That's great and all, but you're gonna need another 20, 30 grand. Uh, so if your goal is to become an owner operator, you can get there faster by using the bank, You know, making your dream become a reality a lot sooner than waiting another year or two to save another 20 or 30 grand. Um, now you only need 40 grand and you can buy a $40,000 truck. Um, so hopefully that helps. And uh, I've made videos about this in the past, but I kinda just wanna reiterate. Yes, it, it's it's a lot more crappier situation now with interest rates being high. When I was making videos before about this, interest rates were, you know, three or four percent lower. So you could get a commercial loan for like five percent. Now it's up to eight or nine percent. It sucks. I get it, but it's just the world we live in. But there's still money to be made out there. You know, trucking industry it's kind of gone down a little bit, but it's still, you know, I mean, everything needs to be trucked, so it's still running, you know, strong. You know, I'm kind of going around the country chasing the work a little bit. I don't work locally out of my area that I'm from, so I've had to make adjust adjustments myself, but it's all good. Um, you know, still making money. And, uh, but yeah, um, take this advice for what you will. You know, if you want to pay cash, that's fine. If you want to finance, that's great. I recommend financing because it leaves you with a lot more cash left over for other expenses. But all right, guys, uh, hope this helped. Have a good one, and I'll see you on the next one.